What up, true believers? This is Sean Long of the Transformers Matrix being another Marvel Legends toy review. This time of the Marvel Legends, Merc with a Mouth, Deadpool! Here we got our favorite Merc with her mouth in a beautiful sculpt. It has his classic costume and the head sculpt is just amazing on it. Um, he has his classic costume with his grenades and his belt. He's got his Deadpool symbol on his belt buckle. He has tons of weapon storage, as you can see here, with all his weapons. He has a little pocket to hold his signs. He has um, little pouches to hold his swords, uh, his katana swords, and his machine guns. He also has, on this side, a little holster to hold his uh, little uh, millimeter gun. And just the detail on there is amazing. This is the Toy Biz version. They're coming out with a Hasbro version that's going to come out. Uh, later next year. For articulation, Deadpool's head can rotate 360 degrees as well as go up and down. His arms can rotate 360 degrees. They can go in and out uh, both ways. Uh, they can rotate 360 degrees at the upper part of the arm, but at two points at the elbow, rotate 360 degrees at the wrist. Uh, his hands can go in and out, and as well as his fingers can go in and out, like closing. His chest can go forward and back. It does get hindered a little bit with his uh, little belt clip. He does have 306 degrees of waist articulation. His legs can go forward and back, in and out, uh, rotate 306 degrees at the upper part of the leg. Uh, he bends at two points at the knee. Um, his ankles can rotate 360 degrees, and his feet can pivot forward and back and side to side a little bit, plus his toes go up. So he has amazing amount of articulation. Now Deadpool comes with a bunch of weapons. He comes with uh, seven different weapons. He comes with these two uh, sides which have a nice amount of detail and they can be stored in his side pocket as you can see here or you can put them in his hands. Hey Deadpool, what's the big idea? You know sides are my weapon. Oh really? They're your weapon now? Okay, let me pick a different weapon. Is that better? Deadpool also comes with two very nice katana swords which have really nice detail especially in the handle part and they can fit nicely in his holsters or uh, in his hands. What the hell Deadpool? You kill my brother and copy his weapons but now you copy my weapons? Oh gee, where are my manners? <laughs> Brothers deserve to be together. Calabunga dude! And if swords and sides aren't your weapon choice, Deadpool does come with two uh, AK-47 machine guns which are very nice and fit nicely in his hand. Ah, that's more like it. I love my guns. Hey Deadpool, have you seen my brothers? Uh, no I haven't. Uh, I believe you. By the way, if you make another pizza joke, I'll kill ya! And if you still think Deadpool doesn't have enough weapons, he still comes with a 9mm, uh, pistol. So it's really cool and it fits nicely in his hand. Ah, uh, weapons are my best friends. Aw oh, man, I'm bored. Where's some turtles to kill? Deadpool comes with this really nice clear stand that has three points of articulation, which uh, you can extend into having to do awesome poses. He has a little hole in the back here, which you can put him here. Aw oh, yeah, baby. Buy Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 and watch me kill people Matrix style. Oh yeah. Deadpool also comes with Dupe, which was a character in X-Force, which uh, he was the cameraman for X-Force. He's a product of the Cold War. And there's a little bio on him. You can check Wikipedia. But he has really nice detailed the X-Force logo and the really cool eyes. His arms can go up and down, so he has even a little bit of articulation. A little place where you can put him on a little stand. He really reminds me of Slimer from Ghostbusters. <laughs> You said it, man. Let's have some pizza. Nom, 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 nom. And if you still think Deadpool didn't come with enough accessories, Deadpool comes with an alternative head of him being on mass. This is what he looks like when he's not wearing a mask. He's all scarred up from his cancer and the Weapon X procedure. So it's a very nicely detailed head. So who's the man behind the mask? Only a face that B. Arthur could love. Rest her soul. Size comparison time. So here you can see Marvel Legends Deadpool, great skill with Marvel Legends Wolverine, and other six inch figures like um, Movie Masters, Dark Knight, Batman. Now if you love Marvel Legends, especially if you love Deadpool, you need to own this figure. This is the epitome of what a Marvel Legend should be, what a great figure should be. Has amazing detail, amazing articulation, all the articulation you can want has more uh, accessories than you can count. I mean, this there's no reason why this figure goes for 50 to 80 or more on eBay. And that's if you get them loose. This guy can go for 80 or more um, if he's still mint in box. 
We are getting a new Marvel Legends Deadpool with new weapons coming out from Hasbro in 2010, so I'm really excited for that. But if you can't wait, I strongly recommend getting Deadpool. He's so worth the money, especially if you've got all the accessories. I love this figure. This is probably my favorite Marvel Legends figure. I can't say enough good things about this figure. This is the Marvel Legend figure to have if you only have one. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Stay tuned for more Marvel Legend reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And this is Sean Long rolling out. <laughs>